got my nails done for the first time, like, in my entire life, and I feel so, like, bad and bougie, but, like, I'm kind of scared for when I have to, like, go to the bathroom, because, like, how are you supposed to wipe with nails? <laughs> It's Jay and today I'm here with my most anticipated releases for January 2019, the first of the year. I have a total of five books that I chose to include on my list. I tried to pick ones that aren't super popular. There is one that is very popular, but I can't help it. It's a sequel for a book that I loved, so I'm sorry, but without further ado, let us get started. I guess I'll start with the most popular book first to get it out of the way so then we can get to the more like obscure, not as popular books because nobody wants to hear about the same five books over and over again. But the first book that I am anticipating for the month of January is The Wicked King by Holly Black. This is supposed to be released January 8th, 2019, and I am so excited about it. It's the sequel to The Cruel Prince, which I read earlier in January this year, and I fell in love with it and I just need the sequel so badly except I'm on a buying ban so I can't buy the sequel so like sugar daddies out there hi hello if you want to buy me a good king I'll love you forever thank you so much the next book that I'm anticipating is called The Liar's Room and this is by Simon Lelick and it is supposed to be released January 15 2019 so this follows a woman named Susanna who 14 years ago reinvented herself in order to basically protect her daughter from this huge secret that she was hiding. She's now working as a therapist, so she takes on a new client named Adam, who seems to know a little bit more than she is comfortable with about herself and her daughter, and it's basically the story of her trying to protect her daughter and figure out what Adam knows and all that jazz. I'm thinking that she, like, killed somebody or ran away from her husband or something, but I'm excited. The next book I have that I am anticipating is called An Anonymous Girl. This is by Greer Henderson and Sarah Peckin, and this is supposed to be released January 8th, 2019. This follows a woman named Jessica Ferris who signs up to be part of a psychology experiment in order to earn a few extra cash, but she thought that it was just she answers a couple questions, they give her her money, and she leaves. But turns out that as the study progresses, things become more and more intrusive and they start sending her off to field experiments where they're telling her how to act, how to dress. She begins to not be able to tell the difference between reality and these experiments and I just think that it sounds super cool. I have a minor in psychology so like I find that stuff kind of interesting. I had to do a whole bunch of experiments to get my degree so I just think that it's a cool concept and I'm very interested to see where it goes. The next book I have is called Her One Mistake by Heidi Perks and this is also supposed to be released on January 8th, 2019. This follows a woman named Charlotte who is out one day with her three kids and her best friend's daughter, Alice, and then she turns her back for about five seconds and Alice goes missing. It's basically the story of that and her having to tell her best friend and try to find Alice and I just think that it sounds so cool and I'm super excited because I actually have an e-arc of this so I'm definitely gonna get to it soon because I think it sounds so good. And then the final book that I am anticipating is called The Woman Inside and this is by E.G. Scott. This is supposed to be released January 22nd, 2019. And this follows Paul and Rebecca who have equally disturbing pasts and then 20 years later they are married and things become a little bit rocky for them. They're each hiding very big secrets from each other. Paul is having an affair and his mistress begins stalking them in more and more intrusive ways. And then Rebecca finds out about the mistress and she decides that she's going to stop at nothing to have Paul stay with her instead of running off with the mistress. I just think that that Rebecca's gonna like murder him or something. Stabby stabby murder murder book. I'm excited. Your girl loves that kind of shit so here for it. Alright guys so those were my most anticipated books for January 2019. I definitely could have picked more than five but thought I'd uh rein myself in you know. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these, what you thought of them, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!